Hi and welcome to Radis Test Kitchen. My name is Blake and today we're going to be making a jicama coleslaw. We're going to be using mayonnaise, which we've made in a previous video. We've got seasoning for salt and pepper. We have vinegar, which we'll add to create the slaw dressing. Some sugar, celery seed, fresh flat leaf parsley. We have parsnip, some fresh celery, bell pepper, some scallions, and some jicama. Jicama is also known as a Mexican potato. It's a tuber, a uh, starchy root vegetable, which has really nice, fresh, crisp um, attributes to it that makes it a really good vegetable to put into a slaw. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started chopping up some vegetables. Starting with the parsnip, Gonna peel it out um, just like a carrot. We're gonna peel the outside off. Tastes just like a carrot too. Nice thing about it is it's got that nice white color. Clean it up nice. When making the slaw, we wanna try to obtain long, pieces that we can end up putting into the slaw, which we call julienne. The scallions, we're going to cut off the root part. We're going to separate the dark greens from the light of uh, the whites. Cut those in half. Clean up the greens and cut those in half. Pinch them together, try to cut them on a long bias or a long angle. Add those in there. You can actually take, take these and put them in ice water and they curl up real nice. Now for the celery, make sure it's washed, cut them into shorter pieces here. Okay, for the pepper, cut off the top. Gotta make sure you pull these stickers off. Cut off the bottom, save those for scraps. Slice down, create this nice uniform shape. garbage. Want to clean this up, cutting this part out and we can go through and just
The red pepper gives it nice color to the slaw, also flavor. All right, and for the jicama, it's kind of more of a larger oblong shape. Just trim up each side and <clears throat> you can use your peeler and go around it, around the sides, or you can go from top to bottom. You can cut it down in size so it's a little bit easier to handle if you need to. Cut it into a smaller segment so you're able to work with it a little bit better. Clean it up, get all the brown spots off of it. Discard your scrap. Now you can go through it. Cut it into slices. Cut it into strips. You can almost hear it, how crunchy it is. That kind of shows you. Get that nice crunch when you bite into it. Makes it a really good slaw. All right, now that we have our vegetables in there all cut up, we can mix that. And we'll go ahead and we'll make our, our coleslaw dressing using our mayonnaise. Add a little bit of mayonnaise to the bowl. Celery seed. Sugar, some rice wine vinegar, some pepper, should have some sweetness and some acidity to it. sugar there. There's our dressing. One thing I want to chop here is this flat leaf parsley. Take out the bad pieces. Try to omit those stems. Roll it up. This French chef knife here is really good for chopping up parsley. So here we have our coleslaw dressing. 
our slaw mix, large mixing bowl here. Your slaw mix should be sweet with a little bit of acidity. Your slaw mix should be balanced in color. But since it is a jicama slaw, maybe a little more jicama than others. Put it into a mixing bowl that will give us some space. Add our slaw in. Just remember you can always add more dressing. I meant dressing. Add our dressing in. You can always add more. You don't want to have to cut up more vegetables. If you add too much of that dressing, then you can, you're going to have to go back and cut up more. It should nice be a nice coating to it. We got our parsley. Give it some nice color. Good flavor. All right, we have it mixed together. Tastes really good. So here we have our final product. This is our jicama slaw using our homemade recipe of mayonnaise, adding some sugar, some acidity with our rice vinegar, some celery seed, which makes it a really traditional style, and then mixed with some fresh vegetables and creates a really nice slaw. You can actually add that onto a pulled pork sandwich. You can eat it as a side, but give it a shot. See how you like it. Let us know. Thank you for watching.